Hello everyone, Curses Monk is here and today I will try to explain a little bit about uh, UVs and a little bit about the textures. So first of all, we will go to the Windows UV Texture Editor and uh, this space, 2D space is uh, for uh, our textures and basically when we have a 3D object, 3D mesh, uh, when I will click on that mesh, as you see these UVs are from that mesh and if we want to for example uh, add some textures on the chip we need to properly set up UVs in the, the in the square where we will be placing uh, texture so might have some UV texture editor editors in self but as you see right now if I will press on Q for example or, a, or a, on sphere Maya trying to understand how the UV should be placed on this 2D map but not always Maya picking the right choice so we need to know how to use it and how to apply the texture and few other uh, other types and uh, how to use the UVs editors for uh, texture editor so for example I will first of all I will go to the Hypershade and in the Hypershade I will I have here checker but I will create a new checker it will be texture and I will assign this texture for, to the sphere Let's see Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I will pick the blend material, for example, and the checker. And with the middle mouse, I will drag it to the blend material and assign it as a default and right now I have a this texture and I will assign it to the sphere and I will use the middle mouse button and drag and drop it or I can just mark the sphere right click and assign material and that's it and now I have a texture on the sphere besides if you can see for example the texture uh, press the 6 button on the keyboard or number 6 on the keyboard and you will see the textures so as you see here we have a texture and the texture on the image looking really not great on the top is uh, small squares and on the sides are distortions so I will try to uh, fix this and we will try to use some tools for uh, UV texture editor so I will create UV uh, create UVs and under polygon menu create UVs I will press the dotted line 
to the attach pay menu and first what I will be using I will use the cylindrical mapping because it's a cylinder so I'll press a cylindrical mapping and as you see by default it's uh, 108 degrees but we have this red squares which can be adjusted and as you see I can move it till 360 degrees and now I fully uh, taking this uh, sphere except the top one but the top one uh, we will uh, manage with uh, another tools with planar mapping so right now in the texture editor as you see we have a nice uh, link uh, edges uh, without distortions so in the texture editor I will click the right mouse button and press UVs after it, I will mark some vertices press the control key and again right mouse click and to shell and when you're doing this command you will selecting all these uh, UVs which are which was uh, from this uh, sphere and um, if you press uh, moving tools or scaling or rotation it will be working on the 2D as well so I'll move it a bit this aside and as you see we have not so great uh, thing down here because we have some distortions but we can rescale it the scale tool I will try to shrink it down a little bit to match the square shape okay something like that it will be great for now and now I will try to take the top and bottom lid so first of all I will mark the sphere after it I will go into a face menu mode and I will just select the bottom faces and top faces and after it I will go to a planar mapping pressing the square it will bring first uh, an optional menu and it will be uh, x-axis I will choose the x-axis you of course can use the x or z or depending on camera and press project and as you see right now we have a top lid and bottom lid uh, projection from a planar mapping planar mapping is a uh, only uh, like a camera on the strafe uh, view to the point and collecting this uh, uh, vertices or, or, or shapes and transferring to the uh, UVs so as you see the first UVs was uh, in blue gold right now in uh, purple so that means it's some kind of problem besides if you want to uh, remove the checker from the uh, UV texture editor just hide it uh, so you can press this face button and you will hide it if you want to hide the colors uh, from the UVs you can press this toggle shaded UVs display and you will remove these colors but the, these colors are really useful because with them we can decide if the UVs or textures are overlapping or not so in this example I see that our UVs are overlapping 
goes as a uh, bottom lid and uh, top lid and it's normal that they are overlapping so I will go to the EV mode select uh, one uh, not dragging selecting but only clicking and selecting one vertices I will press the control and right mouse click and to show after that I will press the moving tool and I will move the circle a little bit into the right corner so as you see right now we have here normally placed UV and I believe it will be for a uh, top one okay we'll go to the shelf and resize it to fit the squares something like that okie dokie so uh, we have one uh, cylinder uh, corrected and if we want to fix the another one just uh, try to flip it around uh, flip it uh, uh, VCVs uh, upside down so this is the tools with which you can flip them it's uh, vertical or horizontal directions so in our case it doesn't matter just flip it and rescale it and as you see we have properly adjusted our texture simple as that besides always must be in this square your textures not overlapping these lines because you will get uh, some distortions and some problems with uh, the textures so for a uh, beginning it will be okay with a sphere uh, as you see uh, or maybe I will uh, add some real material on the on the on the sphere to check it everything okay or not okay I will take the symbol uh, wooden texture for this whoopsie the second I will create new material Lambert okay I will assign it to the uh, sphere and again, again I will go to the my wooden texture and I will assign it to the sphere and as you see everything looking really fine but even even no with a uh, smoothing it's too sharp edge so it's looking not so great as I thought but really for a beginning it will be great to know these things and how to use these um, tools so in this tutorial we was looking in the planar mapping and cylindrical mapping cylindrical mapping is only for cylinder planar mapping you can use for plane objects so I believe you will understood this uh, tutorial and thank you for watching